very reflective. Let's take this off. Do excuse the ironing board behind me. You can always tell if Ryan's been getting ready here because there will be an ironing board out. But yeah, it is Saturday. I am honestly roasting today. It is so hot, not to be too dramatic, but it's so hot I think I might pass out and maybe die, you know, of overheating. It's, it's a lot. It is a lot, people. Like, my cheeks are flushed and I actually just can't really tell at this point if it's like the overload of blush I put on or the fact that I am sweating. But anyway, get ready for the bingo count of how many times I say it is hot in a vlog because the situation is not about to get much better by the looks of the weather, so yay. I used to love the heat and I feel like two years of being stuck in the UK has really ruined it for me and I now can't cope. Like, when we go abroad, I cannot cope with the heat and we are reaching abroad levels of heat, people, so... Yeah, I might just look very dewy for like the next three days with you guys. So I am wearing little Gucci sunglasses that barely have any sun protection to them. A crochet top, which is from Zara. My skirt is also from Zara. We've got a little belly chain, which some of you guys may recognize from my previous. Oh, I got this for like my Ibiza holidays, but I've actually been wearing it all the time with just like normal outfits. I really love it. It's from ASOS, I believe. And then I've got my Fendi sandals. I also have my green H&M hat. I was also, I have the blue one as well and it matches this really nicely, but I prefer the shape of the green H&M hat. So I don't know, maybe I'll take both in the car and just decide on the way, who knows. And what else? ASOS, hoop earrings, little Ibiza bracelets, Amazon, Apple watch strap. And then that is it really very low key today i haven't even tanned like i feel really out of sorts i haven't tanned in so long i did my makeup today for the first time in quite a few days and i feel just really i feel off i feel off i'm gonna put it out there but it's all fine because we're gonna have a great day we're actually going to see victoria and alex and they're having lots of friends around because it is victoria's birthday coming up so we're all gonna go celebrate her i'm very excited so i thought i would take you along with me today i am well aware we are all long overdue a catch-up but i didn't have time to kind of sit down with you and talk you through everything that i have been up to because it's been a long time since i last vlogged it's actually been a really long time and now thinking about it and i'm like oh my god it's been so long yeah it's been a while we have a lot to catch up on i will do that at some point in this vlog but right now we need to leave because we are already about half an hour over when we should have left, so gonna get going. I forgot to show you my little bag as well. This is today's bag. It's this little pouch from Zara. It matches my top, like the little green bits on it. It's so cute. It's like a real Mary Poppins bag. Look at you, you two. Go, Beautiful. Content, right? <laughs> the princess is in her paddling pool. <laughs> this is living. <laughs> look at this. Wow. Look, guys, look at the size of these. Jesus. Stunning. in here it sounds fun what are you doing Boat every time I come here is at an all-time high. I just love him. I'm really obsessed with him. He needs to get me home because otherwise I'm going to dog nap him. It's going to get shrimpy. Yeah. <laughs> Little outfit of the day. I've got my Gucci sunglasses on. Zara top. Zara skirt. He sauce belly chain and Zara bag. Why did I bother doing this? It's all Zara. <laughs> We were just reminding Victoria of all the um, 
really adorable moment she had last night and i'm going to revisit that moment of her waving to the balloon i don't know i don't know if it's on this or my phone really? but so pure did you have a nice birthday birthday bash did oh you goodness enjoy me. It? Well, how do you look so fantastic? I've Suze? got a full face of makeup on, hun. You have no makeup on and you look like yeah. Oh no, I don't. I don't. Honestly, I love these glasses, guys, by the way. Life well. is a scam. Thank you, they're Gucci. They're so great. They're, they're so like 80s, aren't really? they? It's a good gathering though, wasn't it? Was, summer yeah, it was yeah. really good. We've got a lot of food left over. We've got so much food, cake left over. Mm. So that'll be us today, I think. So In the paddling pool with yeah. our cake. Oh my god, that paddling pool. Bo was drinking out of it this morning. Aww. It was so funny. I tried to get him on camera, but he was like, I wasn't doing anything. <laughs> right. Can I tell my mum? <laughs> At least he's using it for something. Yeah. He's not doing much paddling. No. Where is he going? No. He's sleeping here. Where's my best friend? Hi, best friend. Oh, you had a very late night last night, didn't you? Oh, I'm going to have to bring your girlfriend back next time. Oh my gosh, he loves that. Not to be too dramatic or anything, but I think I might be dying. I drank too much gin last night. My tummy hurts. Like stabbing, stabbing pains in my stomach. Not doing well. Yeah, I think we're gonna get food on the way home. What are you feeling? I don't think we're gonna get this from the services, but I'm really craving some pesto pasta. We're definitely not getting that from services. But I can make that for you for dinner. I'm um, right. Yeah. It's, I'm well overdue cooking. This man, this man, has been the backbone of our family for the past two weeks whilst I've been super busy. Do you, do you love it when I use that phrase? He's like, what? <laughs> but no, he really has. I really appreciate you. So least I can do is make you some pesto pasta for dinner. Okay, I'm clearly, I'm having a moment. The aircon is back on because I'm now sweating. What is wrong with, my body can't cope. I haven't drunk in a little while. Like, really, when we went to Bordeaux, which I'll talk about later, I really didn't drink that much. Yeah, but that gin last night was lovely. Just, I had too much fun. I also don't know how we're gonna edit this vlog because Victoria was hilarious, but half of that footage could not be in the vlog. So I'm interested to see what you end up seeing. But she's gonna get her own little blooper reel because it was top quality Victoria moments that took place last night. It's not looking good, bruv. <laughs> It's not looking good. Good evening, everybody. We are back home. We've had dinner. I am absolutely exhausted. The going to bed at two in the morning has really caught up with me and the girl is tired. So tired. It is time to get this makeup off of my face. I'm gonna have a good catch up with you in the morning. I really thought we'd be back a little bit earlier than we actually were today, but we ended up staying and having just to chat at my parents and a little drink. So I didn't really get the chance to get back here and spend as much time with you as I would have liked, but that is fine because tomorrow is a whole fresh new day. We can spend the whole day together. You can hear me moan about how hot it is constantly. Spoiler, I may just be in a bikini all day tomorrow because it's set to be very warm in the UK. Like there's been like health warnings and yeah, it's already warm. Let's put it that way. I'm looking forward to just getting a few bits done tomorrow. I really need to like finish unpacking all of my suitcases from all of my trips and just get organized. Like it's just a lot. Everywhere is a mess. <laughs> I'm looking forward to getting everything sorted. So that'll be really good. Hopefully I make progress with that even though I'll be sweating. But until then, I'm gonna take this makeup off my face and have a cup of tea and watch Love Island in bed. It's my current evening routine. Right now, I am about to give this sad looking bunch of flowers a new lease of life because there was a full bunch of flowers and I came home this weekend and they were basically all dead. So I've just chopped some bits from the garden and I'm going to attempt to make this look a little bit fresh whilst I chat to you. Wish me luck. But yeah, we are well overdue a catch up. Hopefully I'll make it through this because my anxiety is feeling a bit wild today. But I thought I would catch you up on where we are at because my last vlog was now a very, very long time ago. And <laughs> I didn't intend on it being this long since I last vlogged, but I kind of got a bit swept up in podcast bits when I got back from, where was I? 
Ibiza. I was super busy when I came back and that week had the shoot for the cover for my podcast which if you haven't seen on my Instagram because I kind of started talking about it on there I was gonna talk about it here first but it kind of got to a point where I just needed to kind of like start talking about it and I was nowhere near in a position to be able to like film a vlog and get it out because I have also been away again since I went to Ibiza. My calendar was just a little bit crazy and I just kind of had to like get the things done that I needed to do and yeah, a bit wild. Yeah, so we came back from Ibiza and I, side note, how am I meant to say Ibiza? Because everyone was like, oh my God, it's adorable the way British people say Ibiza. And I was like, how am I meant to be saying it? Someone please let me know phonetically if you can spell it out for me i would love that because all i know is you're not meant to pronounce the z so yeah. help a girl out here please guys because i don't like saying things wrong it makes me sad you know so yeah we had the shoot for the podcast which i will talk about a little bit more in a second but that was the week after I came back. I went up to London, had a shoot with Lucy and Lydia, their friend Charlotte, who was my makeup artist for the day. Lauren came up as well. So it was like a really full on day, lots going on. But I'm really, really happy with the photos that we shot. If you wanna see them, they're going out on my Instagram at the moment and they're also going out on the podcast Instagram. If you wanna go and follow it, that's where you can kind of get all of the updates. And if there is anything really specific that I need to ask you about it, I'm probably gonna put it on there. So if you want to just have access to all things podcast related, that is the place to go. But yeah, I'm really excited to talk to you about this because basically this has been in the works for a little while. I, well, I wanted to do a podcast for four years and it's just never really been like the right concept. It's just never really felt like 100% like the right thing. And there was kind of like a brief titling that Ryan suggested back in like January and we were joking about it because I think I said something just something really dramatic and he was like that's your podcast name it's like not to be dramatic but or something like that and I was like yeah that's probably about right and just that little seed kind of like festered for a couple of months I mean if you want to go and listen to the, <laughs> the intro episode which is like what do you call it not the pilot the teaser if you want to listen to the teaser it's it's not my best work. Episode one does not sound like that. I just feel like I need to say that. Episode one does not sound like the teaser. So I have recorded episode one. One of the things that I've been really busy with since being back from my Ibiza. But yeah, so if you wanna to listen to that, you can. I talk about like the concept and go into quite a lot of detail. But to be honest, I'm happy if you wanna just wait for episode one, if I'm very honest, because it already scares me how many of you have listened to the teaser and I'm like, oh my God, they're gonna think that that's what the podcast is gonna sound like. And that we, I just literally filmed, filmed that. This is a problem. I keep saying filmed and we're not doing that. We recorded it literally the day I came up with the concept at like nine o'clock at night and we did like one take and we were like, yeah, cool. Send it to my managers and we'll just like send that to the podcast companies and it will never really see the light of day, but then get yourself on like Apple and Spotify. You need to submit something first and I wanted it all to be ready for when the podcast does launch, I think TBC end of the month. Yeah, so I had to give them something or otherwise when I put episode one out, it wasn't reaching you guys straight away and it would have been a real like confusing moment. So I was like, Jesus, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to put this teaser live. Episode one is better, so I'm excited for that. But the basic concept of the podcast is me just talking about kind of how adult life is a bit of a scam and I'm a bit confused and sometimes I feel a bit lost, but sometimes it's really great and I just have a lot of thoughts and that is my place where I want to put all of those thoughts. Hopefully it'll sound better than that once it actually comes to fruition. But it's called Confessions of a 30 something drama queen. 30 something drama queen for short because Acast was like, this podcast name is really long hun. and I was like, yeah, I know. So we shortened it a tiny bit just to make it easier on all of your thumbs when you're searching. And yeah, that is my new baby and I'm very excited to share it all. Why aren't you saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm very excited to share it all with you. I didn't really think this through about what I wanted to say about it. I'm just kind of like going on the fly here and it's probably something enormous that I've missed out in terms of like detail, but yeah, I'm gonna have a podcast. So if you, I'm back. Yeah, if you like it when I chat about life on here, give a little bit of advice, real unsolicited, unqualified advice, or you just wanna hear me chat more, that is the space for it. I'm starting with, I think one episode a week. I would love to do two though but we're gonna TBC it, I'm gonna see 
what everyone wants. If you guys are like dying for two, I'm happy to try and go for two. I won't talk about it too much more. If you want to like know more, then follow the Instagram or you can follow the podcast page live on Spotify and Apple now if you want to go and follow it on there and experience it as it rolls out. But yeah, if you have any topics that you would love for me to discuss, literally it doesn't matter how niche, like this is something that I really want to delve into more with the podcast is like quite niche topics like some of you guys will be like please can you talk about money dating like something specific surrounding dating like breakups and if i were to do like one youtube video on that youtube wouldn't push it to you like the chances of you seeing it would be so slim in the recommendations like even on your home page even though you're subscribed to me it probably wouldn't share it with you as like a oh you might like this so i really want to utilize the podcast for like delving into quite like niche topics that i wouldn't necessarily get the opportunity to speak to the majority of you about on youtube but yeah that is what i've been up to for a little while now like i said i'll link the teaser episode if you want to kind of hear how it came about and things like that because i feel like i've just waffled for long enough because it's been 12 minutes but yeah after i recorded episode one finished the shoot did all the cover art I say I did all the cut, I did not do the cover art. I worked with a girl called Emily Wilde and she was amazing. So if you haven't seen the cover art, it looks like this. I love it, real like 90s baby vibes and I love that. So I worked with Emily on that and she was incredible. So if you ever need a graphic designer for anything, she is just lovely. I really enjoyed working with her. So yeah, once I finished all of that, I went to Bordeaux with a couple of my friends. I think I vlogged a little bit there. We stayed in the most incredible villa. I think it's called Villa Real. Would highly recommend if you are looking for somewhere to stay in Bordeaux. It was lovely. I feel like someone said it's booked. One of the girls said it's booked up for quite a while now. And we did get it, I think, at like there must have been a cancellation or something because we booked I would say more recently and it didn't cost as much as I think it's being listed for now. So not sure whether it was a cancellation kind of booking slot, but it was lovely i would highly recommend it i would absolutely love to go back and i would love to stay there again i put quite a lot of my recommendations on instagram and there's a highlight if you want to go and see anything that i did i'm also going to do a little tiktok vlog as well i've got so many tiktok vlogs to voice over i just haven't had the chance to sit and voice over them but anyway we just kind of chilled first day second day went and did a wine tour tasting thing which was really really fun for dinner in the evening and then monday we came home but we just chilled and kind of walked around a lot went to like a little food market that day it was really really lovely came back had a little bit of a wine hangover after bordeaux so a bit of a write-off for a couple of days but i was just doing like podcasty bits in bed went to victoria and alex's as you will have seen yesterday and that pretty much brings us up to date and i feel like that shouldn't have warranted me skipping as many video slots as i did but it has been so busy. Oh, I also went to the Ivy Asia opening. When was that? That was before I went to Bordeaux. So much stuff. I'm literally forgetting what I've been doing. So yeah, went to the opening of that. There's an Ivy Asia in Brighton now. It's so, so pretty. Like imagine the Ivy bathrooms, but just the whole restaurant is like that kind of vibe stunning so stunning the food and drinks were really good as well so we're really looking forward to going back and having like a full on meal there it was just lovely oh and another thing that i have also been working on for the past couple of weeks is in addition to having our garage done this year which i've talked about a little bit i think that is due to start next month and i'm very excited for that i've also been working on a little project for our bedroom ready for when ryan moves in because basically i obviously have my wardrobe kind of like room and then there's a chest of drawers in the bedroom but they're actually isn't really any more storage like this this house has zero built-in storage apart from this island and kitchen cupboards there's one cupboard that's about this deep so not really very useful it's got dressing gowns in it and then there's no other built-in storage in the house apart from like throwing things into the loft so i really wanted to have some work done to the bedroom and create like a wardrobe space also in the bedroom so that there's like a his and hers kind of little wardrobe situation going on in there just so there's like plenty of room for when ryan moves in loads of people think that he's moved in already we literally get asked by like even our friends are like so you've moved in right and we're like no we don't move fast we really do not move fast and um, obviously until ryan's workspace is here on the property as well just it's not going to happen but one thing that i really do want is to make the bedroom like a proper his and hers bedroom because at the moment it's just a hers bedroom like even the bed ryan's six foot two and i would say a little bit he's i would say he's a bit over six foot two and his legs are miles off of the bed like his legs 
<laughs> and his feet are miles off of the bed like it's ridiculous so we picked a new bed i'm very excited for that to arrive once that's arrived i think our builder is going to be doing like a whole kind of like paneling lighting carpentry a little bit of everything kind of situation to it and giving it a whole revamp which i'm so excited about and fun fact i actually don't know if any of you will have ever noticed this but the bedroom isn't even like 100 painted it had basically my painter broke his arm as he was like mid job on the house so there's a couple of the rooms that have only had like half the coats of paint that they needed and i decided at the time to leave it because i knew that we probably do like a little bedroom refresh together at some point so i am really excited to have this done and have it like repainted as well because yeah it's been annoying me for two years now but yeah i have some bits so these are some of the bits that i have been kind of like mulling over which i thought i would share with you it's gonna look a bit crazy so this is just like a little snippet of some of the colors and textures that we're potentially working with i really love this color by far and ball i don't think we're going for a far and ball paint but just for reference i think that's kind of my favorite but i am i really would love a green but i don't think it's going to be right for the bedroom i would love like a gray that has a hint of green to it and i think this color could be amazing this color i think is a bit too dark but something like this i think would be so beautiful we also have this is shaded i think this one yeah this one is shaded white from Far and ball and i think it works really nicely when you take it into the bedroom it's much darker this is the fabric that we're potentially using for the bed this will be i think a footstool and i'm waiting on another swatch for a little armchair as well but yeah those are some of the textures and colors that we're going to be working with and i also have a new furniture addition to the bedroom as well which i'm so excited to show you some of you have already spotted it in oh it's gonna be so dark i've been keeping the shutters closed because it just helps to keep the house really cool please ignore ryan's bright purple shirt behind me this is why i need i need a wardrobe here <laughs> yeah we have a new little furniture addition to the bedroom which some of you have already spotted on instagram stories good eyes just move this because that's ruining the vibe but yeah this is our new chest of drawers they're from swoon editions they are just gorgeous at first i was like oh my god this is so weird not seeing like a white chest of drawers but i really love them i think it works really really well with the bedroom with like not necessarily with our wash basket but with the rest of our furniture as well it really suits the room now but i think it's also going to look really gorgeous once the room is all like painted and panelled and everything i think it's going to be amazing also looking forward to once we get the bigger bed getting at some wall lights either side of the bed as well i'm looking forward to having like new coving all put in on the walls and like skirting and everything and then a hopefully big wardrobe put here so the bed will be changing i think we're going to keep the style but just get a bigger version of what we already have but i am very excited because this bed is also super old and creaky i've had it for a long time now and it's just not quiet anymore so even when you get onto it it like basically groans under your weight which is not ideal i'm going to keep the green bedside tables going to keep this mirror of course because i love it and of course going to keep the shutters the flooring i think the light but my mum has bugsied it in case i change the light so we will see i'm going to keep the chair but i think the chair will maybe i think i'll switch the chairs around a lot because i love like a boucle chair especially if the room is like a darker gray i think it like lifts the room so beautifully but i do want to maybe have something that's a bit more of a statement in here as well so we will see but the chair is is going to be staying so yeah just a few changes it's going to be quite impactful but we're not going to like be changing too much more just adding but yeah this afternoon's agenda is getting some paint samples ordered getting some bits of furniture for the bedroom on order as well if anyone i'm going to put my mood board on screen or just like a photo of like the inspo but if anyone has any recommendations on paint that you would recommend that is a similar color i would love to hear your thoughts because that is the thing that is proving the most difficult at the moment i think something like what i'm seeing here is probably going to be best because when things go into the bedroom let me show you they really change color because it's a north facing room that doesn't have a lot of can you see see how that changed it's a north facing room that doesn't have a lot of light streaming into it and it's quite a long room like the window's quite far away so it really does change color this is it behind the chest of drawers it looks very much slightly more green and then next to the shutters a little bit warmer kind of ish honestly it's so difficult and i'm just getting a bit lost with it also if anyone has any recommendations i would love 
to hear some suggestions because it's definitely the hardest bit. I can move on with the best of them and, you know, put furniture in a room. No problem. That kind of styling, love it. Choosing paint, not, not for me. I don't know how, like, this is... This is why interior designers get paid a lot of money, you know? I have been staring at my computer screen for far too long. <laughs> my voice is going weird because I haven't spoken in a little while. But I thought I'd take a little break, show you today's outfit of the day. I actually was wearing different shoes. Let me, hang on, hang on. These aren't allowed in the garden because I don't want to get them all funky. There we go, this is better. This was my actual outfit of the day. We have this Skims dress, which some of you may have seen on my TikTok. It got a lot of love on my TikTok. I am obsessed with this. I've actually just bought the long sleeve version as well, which I will show you very soon. I think the next video I'm gonna sit down and show you everything I bought this month. Whilst I was on my two day Bordeaux hangover, I ordered a lot of stuff. Yeah, that is coming very soon. But yeah, I picked this up couple of weeks back now I think and it's just gorgeous you can get these like in your regular size and they're really like snatchy and tight at the waist which I would love to have this in my normal size but I picked up a medium because I didn't want it to be like super super tight but I also wanted a bit more room on the leg and this is amazing because if you get your regular size it is so snatchy that it's almost snap too snatchy down the bottom as well and you do struggle to walk a little bit I've heard from people so I went for a medium partly because that's all that was available but also <laughs> because I didn't want it to be super tight on my tummy because no one needs that in the summer. But yeah, I also picked up the long sleeve, I think in my regular size, so I'm excited to try that. But yeah, this dress is just lovely. Really quite light as well for the fact that they really do snatch people's waists in, but they're actually really light all at the same time. I've got some little clover jewelry on as well, which I'm loving. This is from, oh, you're backwards, from Boutique Minimalist. It's part of Nicole, is it Nicole Bardini? I think that's how you say her name. But yeah, it's part of, oh wow, this is just going really wrong. It's part of her collection. These are just stunning. Love this jewelry. There's a bracelet as well, which I think you can see there. Really, really gorgeous. And I've got a little gold ring as well. And these rings are great because they actually don't have a back. So they're literally one size and just really nice and easy to wear. And my hands swell up a lot in the summer. I have basically different hand sizes based on whether it's summer or winter. So this is really nice to have something that I can actually wear all year round. And then I've got lots of different earrings in today. I don't know where all of these are from because some of them are quite old. I think this one is Astrid and Mew and then the others are Monica Vinida, I believe. I will try and link everything in the info box. And then on this ear, I have the same, but then also ear cuffs as well. I think these are just old ASOS ones, but they're really, really gorgeous. Just got a real loaded ear stack on this ear today, but I'm really liking it. And then my sunglasses are my Gucci sunglasses, which they're kind of like a glasses, sunglasses hybrid. I'm actually considering having prescription lenses put in these ones because I really like them, but because they are that nice like hybrid of like glasses, but not glasses, I think they'd be really, easy to wear and then my sliders are obviously my fendi ones and these back here that i was wearing before they're my garden shoes they are my birkenstocks and they basically just blend in with the floor so yeah that is my little otd oh i also got a new phone case i don't know why i'm showing you like this <laughs> i got this phone case i think it's from amazon and then i also did a little etsy purchase I bought quite a few little like random things but this is one of them it's just like a little bead chain that you like slip through mine is literally like sound it's just a bit of string is sandwiched in here it's not actually attached to anything it's just the suction of the phone in the case is like holding it in it actually works really well though but i bought a few of these i bought there's a girl that has an etsy shop and she does like harry styles lyric ones which is just so cute so i bought one for my cousin i think she's gonna love it but yeah mine is just like a plain one with my name on it. And I think it's really cute. I've also got a like, bright yellow one as well. And Ryan was like, what is happening to you? Just really enjoying the color at the moment. So I've got about halfway through episode two of the podcast in terms of notes. The notes are long at the moment. My show notes are very, very long. You could basically say I write it out for myself pretty much because I get really nervous. So I like to have it there just in case. 
every detail that I need. Yeah, I'm about halfway through. We have two pages of notes. And Ryan has just sent me the final jingle, which I'm very excited about for the podcast. So I will put it over, I hope we don't make tweaks, but I will put it over the previous montage so you will have heard it by now. You can skip back if you want. That was the jingle. So I'm really, really excited about that. I really like it. It's very cute and I'm really, really happy with it. So yeah, really excited to have episode two in the bag soon. I'm aiming to get another set of notes for episode three written by the end of the week because I would kind of like to get on a roll with this a little bit because I'm really nervous about like scheduling and just making sure that I am enough episodes ahead so that I can like do this weekly and not be stressed. So yeah, fingers crossed excited i'm also really excited for you guys to listen to episode two purely for the fact that to protect people's identities we are renaming them but i've decided to give people harry potter names and um yeah i just hope you enjoy this along with me because there's a lot there's a lot that i can do with this i was like oh this is good who gets malfoy i'm enjoying like the process of putting this together so i can't wait for you guys to hear it Good afternoon guys, I want you all to know that I've tried to start this vlog several times and there have either been suitcases being wheeled around, people screaming in the streets or I'm just being suffocated by my own hair so it's, it's not going well but I am on my way to finally get my nails sorted but I am so excited, so excited I've got Lauren with me, we're both melting, <laughs> the emotional support <laughs> water bottle coming in there, we are both melting. It's very hot today. But yeah, I'm excited to get these sorted because it has been far too long. I had to reschedule my appointment and things are looking a bit ropey over here, guys. done they look very cute like holographic -y lilac i like it we're having a little bit of sushi we booked ibiza today we haven't had a chance to tell you guys yet i'm very excited about it yeah ryan has a cool job that he's been booked for but apparently it's still under embargo so i've just ruined everything yeah but we're having sushi and my nails look cute so holographic -y lilac to change the subject anyway got a little vegan salad thingy vegan whatever dragon rolls dragon These rolls, are dragon rolls yeah. selection box i have gone full fish because i can't not and this is just delicious we've got salmon and avocado i can't remember what that combo is like traditionally called dragon roll and then we've got some i believe this is california rolls some veggie ones some salmon sashimi some salmon nigiri and then we have the prawn thingies prawn nigiri something like that delish we basically decided that it was too hot to cook so here we are Looks like a proper little sushi restaurant situation here. Love it. Good afternoon, everybody. We have freshly washed hair, a fresh face of makeup, a fresh layer of tan. I'm wearing this cute little set from River Island. I'll link it in the info box. If you guys want to go and check it out, I think there are still some sizes left. I literally just checked. It is 
Wednesday. My mum is coming around for dinner this afternoon or this evening. So I'm finishing up a little bit early today. I'm feeling very comfy, very fresh, very cute. And I need to start prepping dinner, but I'm procrastinating because I thought I'd vlog a little bit before I do. So yeah. Outfit today is from River Island. I got it via ASOS. I think it's out of stock on there, but you can still get it on River Island. We have fresh makeup. I am using a my camera screen. It really needs a clean hang on. Sorry. Anyway, I'm using this foundation at the moment. It's a powder foundation. I use it over the top of my makeup once I've like finished doing everything. I'm gonna show you it because I'm really loving like the look that it gives. I use it where I would normally use a powder at the end of my makeup, but I really prefer this because it gives coverage as well. And when I'm wearing just tinted moisturizer -y, like light bases, it just gives that extra hint of coverage but really mattifies everything really beautifully. And I really like like a matte center to my face and then I leave a little bit of glow everywhere else but it just gives a really nice kind of natural finish. So it's the Bare Minerals Bare Pro foundation in the shade 27 neutral. I have shade 25 as well but I've had a little bit more of a face tan lately so I've moved on to this one because 25 I can't open this one handed. That's where the little spongy bit normally goes but as per I have lost the sponge. But yeah I've been using this shade because the other one was just slightly too light for my skin tone but this is perfect for me right now and I use it with this brush which i think jamie sent me with some of her vive stuff but it's a really nice little powder brush it's a smith one and i just literally dab a little bit onto the brush tap it off and then i just dust it on i've obviously already put some on so it's not gonna have the full effect right now but it really does like mattify very nicely gives coverage but it also is super long lasting as well like i have not ever had to top this up during the day and i love that i'm just gonna even out the other side please hold yeah i have never had to top this up it lasts really well even in the heat that we've been having lately it's been lasting so so well so yeah loving that at the moment and then i just have the rare beauty tinted moisturizer on as my base bronzer blush that kind of vibe and then i put the bare minerals bare prime foundation over the top and it's really great for using as well if you've just got like spf on and you just want a little bit of like coverage or color it's really good for that as well i need to <laughs> blow dry my hair at some point soon because this is just the fringe bits are slightly outrageous if you don't do anything with them <laughs> but anyway i also thought i would show you the lipstick that i have been wearing wow no no thank you it's a sephora lipstick in the shade 083a it's a sephora rouge matte and it is the prettiest like cool tone nude color and i wear it over the top of vive brat lip liner loving that at the moment oh also i had my green samples from sofa.com arrive today i think i might have said but ryan and i have settled on green fabric for the armchair because i already have a boucle chair so i'm thinking i can just swap them in and out depending on the kind of look that i want but yeah we thought that green would be really nice what do you think like what color do you think i'm gonna ask ryan when he gets back today but i'm thinking this like forest green i also love the texture of it oh look at that it's gorgeous and i think it works really nicely as a set with these please ignore that i got sent it and my mum usually loves stuff like that but yeah i think that is my favorite of the three but let me know what do you guys think i do love this i really love this that's too light and too bluey toned i'm not sure i've got to put my hair up just until I blow dry it because it's annoying me. Anyway, I am going to be cooking Asian food for my mum tonight. I'm very excited about that because it's all I crave at the moment. I've cut the top of my head off, how have I managed this? But any kind of Asian themed food, any kind, I will not be fussy. All I want to eat right now. I've got some corn crackers for her for when she gets here because dinner will not be on the table when she gets here. and. Mummy Benaldi when she is hungry is a scary lady. So yeah, it's probably gonna be it from me for this vlog. I really hope you guys have enjoyed just hearing about what I've been up to lately. I had every intention of fully vlogging. Is that a spider? No, it's a fly. Oh, thank God. Had every intention of fully like vlogging this month, but it just kind of ran away with me a little bit. But I am back now. I'm excited to be back. I think I'm gonna be on a Monday upload for the foreseeable, just whilst I find my feet with things and it's summer and everyone's on holiday anyway. And then we'll go from there. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys again very, very soon. I have a load of cardboard to jump over to say bye to you. I need to sort that out before my mum gets here. The pre-parent panic is a real thing with me. That is gonna be it for me today. I love you all lots and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Love you, bye.